You okay in there? Or is it just really, really difficult to fight? Okay, I'm gonna share this really quick. Sharing, sharing, sharing. Alright, it's on. Hey everyone, it's me, Mabel. Don't. It's me, Shibby, and I am going to be making homemade lasagna as Mabel. And since it's Christmas time, I wanted to make something that reminds me of my childhood because I used to watch Garfield a lot. I loved Garfield. I, I used to watch it for Christmas. I guess it was a Christmas special and a Halloween special and a Thanksgiving special. And I remember every single time I watched it in the very beginning, Garfield wakes up and it's a dream and John just comes in with trays of lasagna and just walks him to the Christmas tree. <laughs> so I will be attempting to make homemade lasagna. Hello, person. I have the recipe on my old phone. I need to switch it so basically it doesn't turn sideways. Rotation screen off. There we go. So for this recipe, you will need lasagna, which I'm actually going to be making pasta from scratch. You'll be needing two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. You'll need four large eggs at room temperature and a pinch of kosher salt. And then you'll need more kosher salt to boil the water. Hello! I'm gonna move this wire out of the way so I don't get anything. So yes, you'll need a bowl of pork, which I'll grab in a second. And pretty much, and then you get to make the sauce or you can buy a pasta um, sauce. I usually like to make mine. Stay Cheez-Its. I'll be right back. I don't know if I can pause this thing, can I? No, I can't. I'll be right back. Sorry, Beyonce playing Skyrim in the other room. Got me distracted. But anyway, um, let's move this out of the way. Nerdy Nummy's book. And let's get working. So, got my all purpose flour here. And I'm gonna grab a cup measure. I only have three fourths cup of measure right now because the others are probably washing in the dishwasher. two cups and then a half so one third plus about a half of the one third should equal one cup should be equal half a cup there we go now make a well in the middle of the flour so as you mix the eggs in it doesn't go everywhere welcome to Mabel's Thank you. Give me one minute. I'll be right back. You need a fork. I'm going to 
gonna do is I'm gonna shove it into this container. Eggs, yes, need eggs. You need four eggs for this. Just pop the shells in here. Then I'll throw them out. Sorry, I need to move my hands off a little. Alright, well, one egg at a time. That's what I like to do. Just to be safe. To get it kind of beaten up a little. Actually, I could do all three eggs. All four. Wow, three. Four eggs. I don't know what fell. Gradually add flour as you whip the eggs in to make a nice consistent sheet of dough. Once you get to this nice clumpy dough mixture, I'll turn it over in a second. Let me just grab a a board so I can put it on. Be right back. I really should have prepared more for this. Turn it out very carefully. Now, I'm 
going to get messy. Take off the ring of engagement. And you're going to need the rest of this into it. And it's going to get sticky and messy. Does it matter the size? Um, the size of eggs? Um, I don't, it says in the recipe four large eggs, so I assume yes. I assume that if you have small eggs, um, you can use, um, alright, let me see, you would add in one for every two eggs, so instead of it being, um, four eggs, it will be six for small. And then I think for medium size eggs, it's, um, you just add one more. found the recipe to make juice to make my maple juice. That's awesome. I use the um Feast of Fiction version. I love Feast of Fiction, they're awesome. I wanna make them one. See how it's getting less sticky? You're starting to get a better dough now. I love the recipe. Oh, and um, can you guess what movie I'm making this from? You probably either remember it or remember the TV show if you watched it when you were a kid. Hint. Um. Tokyo Mew Mew? No. That's not it. Yes! You're right, it's Garfield. Here, let me get the recipe back up.
this is getting really well. So I'm going to move it to the side for a second. I'm going to clean off my scraps. Clean off the board. Have you made maple juice yet? Also, what, what kind of meat? What? I don't get what you're saying about the last part. Meat? I don't use meat in maple juice. It's kind of weird. Okay, I'll let you restart what you're saying. I'm trying to clean my hands off a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the stove back on. And a little bit of flour. What does nibble juice taste like? Like really sugary sweet Kool Aid. With a hint of watermelon. That's the way I made it. I made mine with um Kool Aid. Water I made mine with straw. No, it's not straw. Cherry Kool Aid. Um, watermelon juice. Water. And just a little bit of simple syrup. Overly sweet, but still very good. See now how it's a little bit more firm, it's a little bit elastic, but not completely hard. It's a little bit tacky, which is, it is, wait a minute, I'm trying to, yeah, it needs to fold in. This is a really big forearm workout, but yeah, it's nice and stick, it's nice and tacky, it's elastic, perfect amount of gluten, probably perfect amount of gluten in here. Now I'm just going to set it aside, put a paper towel over it, and let it rest for a little bit. I'm all rest, I'll get out my pasta roller.
Let me just clean it off a little bit. Then I'll show you guys my pasta roller. Person that joined. I need to take this apart and get the stuff out of here. But I can wait. So, old fashioned pasta roller. I say it gets the best results for pasta. That's my opinion. Okay, that was kind of weird. Sorry about that. For some reason, my thing decided to disconnect. But, yeah, thank you. Merry Christmas. I, I should be stationary now. It's not going to go anywhere. And you're always going to want to start on the highest setting with these things. The crank goes in there. I now need to let this rest for another t maybe like 10 minutes. <clears throat> so I'm going to set a timer. Forgot what was on this phone. It's been that long. Timer. Start. There we go. I'm going to wash my hands. I'll be right back. there's a second person on here. Yay! So, what's your plans for Christmas? I'm gonna start the sauce. For the, um, There. 
drinking on Skyrim is my plan. I don't know what I'm doing for Christmas. Maybe a live stream again? I don't know. Because I got really no plans. But I saw something pop up. What do you think Bill would cook? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> My, what would you think Bill would cook? Probably something with the gore human. Seem to be the type of thing to eat humans.
can open. get my bill hair back I might video myself making spaghetti tacos ooh spaghetti tacos <laughs>
you're gonna wanna make a lot. You're gonna wanna make, have a lot of water when it comes to making tomato sauce out of tomato paste because it'll just go thick. What's up? What do you wanna show me? Um, give me a sec. I'm trying to see if you're. But, um. Okay. <gasps> Pretty! But that's not all. You know how you usually see, like, the piece of branches and things floating down here? Yeah. Okay, let me see if I can find some here. Where were they? They were over. Skyrim. Here somewhere. Okay, look. They're actually twirling as they fall. Oh, that's so cool! Like little beans. Damn, I love that game. How cool is that? That is awesome. Hello! Second person that joined. Oh, they disappeared. Why do people come and they just leave? What is he playing as what race? He's playing Skyrim and he's playing the race of a succubus female succubus and it's um for the PC with mods and everything. Chicken patty sandwiches. And I'm making it a little 
lasagna, not a chicken parm lasagna. I'm just gonna heat it up. Take one piece at a time. So, put these two back, cover that over. Start pulling out your pasta, flattening it out. Then run it through the mill. Oh, also, trick here take a little bit of flour. Dust it onto the actual thing. Yeah, there's one for like the um for the kitchen aid. No. Right back. 
start that up. Now, bring it down a level. Come on. Come on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it. Pull out the gluten. One more time. Just to get the gluten to start working together. One more down. Give me a second. I'm still working with my recipe. This is going to be a workout. And do not forget to dust a little bit of flour each time, but don't over dust it because if you do, it'll just become tacky. Not tacky, it will become just what it tastes like paste. There we go. Beautiful lasagna sheet. I'm going to do it one more time. Perfect. You can see light coming through it. It's beautiful and silky. I'm going to roll it one more time through. Perfect. That is beautiful. I'm going to do the rest of it. And I'm going to put this onto a tray. down on the tray, a little bit of flour, it's just to make sure it doesn't stick. And then just do the rest. I have never gone to one of them 
things. What things? Pasta press. It's a great way, if especially if you want to make homemade pasta and save some money on pasta. It even comes with some cutters too. Yeah, you can find one of these on Amazon. Well, why don't you? Have it, just give it a try. Bring it down one. You want to have makeup skills first? Want to hear something funny? I have no makeup skills at all. Same here, just GLaDOS and Ordo Tomorrow. See your Jeff to kill her cosplay. Give me a second, I need to check the pasta glass. So you can hear it over boiling for all here.
That's okay. It's got about another minute on it. Let me see. Danny wants to see. Jeff the Killer and Bill. We'll have to see your Jeff the Killer cosplay one day. So I've only seen your Bill cosplay. The picture you shared. Not shared to me. Sent to me. Hell yeah, I will like some. That's for the sauce. What do you think? Do you think this is long enough? I need to cut it so it's a little bit more manageable. Yes, I know, I know, I know. You're done. In 20 seconds. Now the sauce is done. This is a lot like slimed. One more time.
only going to do this other piece because I think I should have enough, but if I don't, I will make more. I'm only going to be making a small pan of lasagna. Do not pull eyebrows, they hurt. <laughs> Why did you pull your eyebrow? Oh God. Oh, um, do you want to come and see how thick I, how thin I got the pasta, Phil? Uh. Huh, not bad. I can actually see your hand through it. Do you know how sweaty that is? It feels like it. One side's a little bit on the rough side. Yeah, uh, I know. That's probably because of the uh, flour. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kind of need the flour to make sure it doesn't stick. Oh, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Favorite Christmas movie? Uh, it's got to be a classic. A Year Without a Santa Claus. Hands down, I think that was my ultimate favorite movie to watch when I was a child. Haven't watched in a while though. Been meaning to, but haven't. No, fudge. Got the flowered up.
make sure we do this one. I mean, just need to re it now. happens because this thing's not cement in. There we go. That's much better. What do I like to play as in Skyrim? Khajiit. Why? Because I love cats. Khajiit has wares. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to start. Malu, what's wrong? Alu, Alu, what do you see? Sorry, my cat's seeing something. Give me a second. Psst. Psst. Alu. Yeah, I was just wondering what the hell Alu was looking at.
I'm back. Sorry, I need to start the water for the pasta. Because, ow. Okay, sorry, I was reading to see what I need to do for the pasta after I'm done. As soon as that water starts to boil, I need to put a sheet into the water for 30 seconds, pull it out, put it in an ice bath. This should be interesting. Since we have no ice for ice water. I can't see anything, but hi! Sorry about that. Making lasagna from scratch and it's being a little pain in the butt. Get it back to the balance there. Add there, put that there. Move. Move. There we go.
So what's your plans for Christmas? <laughs> All I heard was the rain. That's all it's doing, it's raining, and I'm like, ugh, I want it to snow. Like it was a couple days ago, and no one's here. acting weird for me. Sorry, it's the internet connection I have. So it's not your fault, it's my side. Water's almost spoiled. I'm gonna do a test drop. Which means I'm gonna take a little piece of one of these and drop it in there and see what happens. people. Okay. Well, I am not dropping this again. Fixed it. It's hard to see what's going on. I am making homemade lasagna from scratch as Mabel. And I already made the pasta. It's a very simple recipe. It's two and a half cups of flour and four eggs. And then um, you let it, you mix the eggs and flour together you knead it for a bit let it rest for about 20 minutes then if you have a pasta um presser like the um old-fashioned ones or the one from the um kitchenaid use that and you flatten it out to about 1 16th of an inch which is about this and then you blanch it into hot water for about 30 seconds Put in the cold water, and then after the cold water, you put it onto a tray. My water's just about boiled, and that looks like it actually worked, so I'm going to 
start working with us. So 30 seconds. So what are you doing for Christmas? Watching YouTube so far. Wait, really? It's, it's Christmas by you? Or because it's 10.42 p.m. here for me. I'll shock that in the cold water. On to the next piece. And drain it onto your parchment paper or wax paper. Ow! No! The tray fell on my foot! The tray I'm holding the pasta on? I'm trying to put the pasta into the pot so I can boil it a little bit, so it can get a little bit solidified, so when I put it into the thing, it's not raw. And I don't have enough room to hold shit. I know it was probably longer than 30 seconds, but now. It's a lasagna breakdown. Yes, it's a lasagna breakdown right now. This is not my day. Yesterday I fought one day. I got bit on the same foot that the tray landed on by a spider. This is just not my weekend. Take it easy. I'm trying to. But I haven't had dinner yet and I need to eat. And the only thing I'm thinking about eating right now is pasta. So this is the pasta now cooled and hardened. It's beautiful. Can't wait to work with it. Okay, cool. Is it dinner for tomorrow? Nope. It's dinner for tonight. For me, and then I'll probably be dinner for tomorrow and lunch. 
Because I have no plans. Because I'm a loner. Merry Christmas to all. Aw, thank you. You do not want to see the disaster zone that is my house, or me and my fiance's house. To all a good night. <laughs> what, are you leaving? No. Yes, it is. Especially when you make it right. And especially when you make it. No, I'm saying a quote. I was trying to quote something. I know you were quoting something. I was just joking. I make homemade lasagna almost every year. But I've never made homemade pasta before. This is a first for me. All I can say is I hope it turns out good. I'm gonna put this paper towel over top. These sheets of pasta let them dry out a little bit. Let me know what I can't see. No, I want to see. Let me know how it tastes. I will. I definitely will. I like when it comes out really solid. Me too. Unravel. Alright, there we I only have two more sheets left, and then I can take a breather and get my foot checked. Oh, um, you never found me on Instagram. Because I, I, I put up my Instagram the last time when I had the live stream, and... Do you have a pasta machine? Yes, I do! Yeah, she rolled it out somehow. Me? No, not you. Um, Bev? Bev? I can't pronounce your name. Bottom. 
It's okay, it's okay, don't worry. It doesn't matter anyway, it's going to be going in layers. Thank you for the tip. One last piece. There we go. That's all. I'm gonna put this in. Knock the top. So heating up the oven while I make the layering of the pasta and the cheese sauce middle. I'm bringing you guys with me. Sorry, I made this sauce earlier. But yeah, this is the, um, this is the pasta press that I use, pasta machine. I really burned my hand there. It's a Winston, and it's from, I got it off Amazon. Then I have the other half of the pasta in here. I'm just going to roll this up into the paper towel. And then also... No problem! From what? What? I've never... <laughs> really? You have to make that reference. <laughs> if you guys are wondering where I got all these like culinary skills from, I actually went to culinary school for a couple of years. So I do know something about culinary. I was going to go into the, um, I was going to work in a kitchen and stuff like that. But then people kept suggesting that I don't because, um, the metal rot's my back because I have to lift heavy things and all that other stuff. So I was just like, do you know what? Fine, I won't. All right, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator.
Now for the um the cheese sauce thing I use, I make with it. Well, I am not taking that chance. Stay. <sighs> really? Well, the recipe I use for the cheese sauce is ricotta, mozzarella, which is down in the bottom, an egg, and they usually put parsley in, but I'm not going to do parsley this time. Crack an egg. Yeah, that was the worst crack I've heard I've done before. Put that in there. Ricotta. Audrey from Little Pet Shops had um, blonde hair. If I remember correctly, because I did watch that movie. It was a good movie, though. Very good movie. She does. How many cups? Um, I just eyeball it. With ricotta, ricotta I use about like maybe three fourths of a cup. It all depends on how much lasagna you're making. For for this size, I would use three quarters of a cup, and then about a half cup of mozzarella, and then one egg. The eggs just there to help bind together and gives an extra piece of protein to it. Is it a vegan lasagna? Um, no, because vegans don't use cheese, they don't use eggs. <laughs> yeah, um, it is kind of a vegetarian lasagna because I don't have um, ground beef or pork right now. So, yeah, so I'm gonna go grab my sauce and put it into the bottom of this tray. If you guys are wondering, yes, I did make my own sauce. No, I'm allergic to shrimp. I can't have shrimp. Pretty 
much I just took a can of tomato puree and I put it into a pan into this pan with about two more cans of water from that same can mixed it up added garlic powder onion powder basil um oregano say um let's see um parsley salt and pepper then I heat it up for like about 10 minutes. I'm okay. Let me grab a, where's the can, there we go. Just gonna take some cooking canola oil and you're gonna spray your pan. What was that? I never knew that, that's interesting. Put some of the sauce at the bottom. <laughs> Smear it around. Grab your pasta sheets. And lay them in there. Yeah, I know some of them look like they're destroyed. That's because how hot the pan was. Oh, I know which one he's talking about. on the tray. Grab some cheese sauce. A little bit more sauce. Yeah. My mom does the same thing, but this is more sort of my rendition of the 
my family's classic. This is just the extra pieces that did not want to stay together. Right there. England, it's 4 a.m. It's Xmas morning. I've been on live streaming with. <laughs> awesome! I have HHV too. They were ignoring me. Aw, oh, damn! It's only. Um, hang on, let me find out what time it is. Wait, what? I'm not in Vegas, sweetheart. It's 11-11, make a wish here in New Jersey. It looks like mashed potatoes, broccoli buns, they don't touch. <laughs> what? I'm so confused now. There we go, that should hold it down. And then more cheese. I'm getting to the very last layers. Favorite Christmas movie, go. Year without Santa Claus is mine. I watched it when I was a child, still watch it today. Iron Will. Oh, that's cute. Is that that one or I know everyone's gonna say this. It's not a Christmas movie, but Bolto. It's been a Christmas tradition of mine for years. It's a good movie. Nice. I 
Interesting. The Santa Claus. That's another good movie. Yes, I approve. One, two, or three. I think number one is my favorite out of the three. Even though I do like Jack Frost because he's funny. Oh my god, there's so many layers to this. <laughs> it's gonna end soon. Alright guys, I want your opinion. Do you think I should do a cooking and cosplay show? And like cook things from like the thing I'm cosplaying from? I got one yes. Sure, why not? Yay! I got two yeses. I can do some um, vegan recipes because I know a couple vegan recipes. Alright then, so every either Sunday or Saturday, I will start doing videos about cooking. This is gonna be the last layer of pasta. Why? Because I'm running out of so I'm running out of cheese. Sauce I got plenty of. Cheese, not so much. Now what I'm doing is I'm basically just taking a layer of sauce, putting it all over the top.
take what's left of the cheese, put it right on top of that to get a nice and crispy when it goes in after I take the aluminum foil off. Just gonna mix it in with the sauce so. So I'm just gonna take some of the mozzarella. Give me a minute, I'm looking for the only foil. Yeah, that's right, but I fill it up here. So now that you got this tightly wrapped up, you are going to, yes, um, you are going to put it into a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes, then take out the aluminum foil and cook it for another 15 minutes. So, get over there. I just want the um the inner part of it to cook because the sauce was already cooked, the pasta was kind of already cooked, it was blanched. The cheese wasn't though, so that's the reason I'm putting it at a very low temperature. But yeah, now it's gonna be going on for 20 minutes and then undo that and everything else. Wow, I spent two hours making this. <laughs> for a little what tasting the sauce it's really good i know germophobic is probably out there
It is New Year, New York. It's New Jersey's like. Let me let me try and put a mission of. You're right. Yeah, Philadelphia's here. New Jersey's here. New York is up here, and then Maryland's down here, underneath Philadelphia. But you can take a bridge straight to Maryland. Because I've had to do that to get to Virginia, to visit family. And I was terrified because I hate bridges. <laughs> bridges are scary and evil. <laughs> but that's just my opinion because I'm terrified of heights and water. I can't swim. Let me just put the rest of this sauce away. Yeah, sorry. Thank you for correcting me. You. Oh, no, happy birthday. I'll have to find you on Instagram and send you a happy birthday or find you on on YouTube. I'm in England. Cool. I have a friend that lives in England and she cosplays. She's amazing. Stage. This is great. Happy day of birth. <laughs> January 2nd. Close enough. That's what I'll say. My little sister was, was born on April Fool's Day. One day off. One day off. She would have been born on April Fool's. Hello, what you doing? I'm trying to basically uh, like fix certain things. Oh, my legs. For some reason, all of the like base arrows are like their names are corrupted. Mm, that's so good. Alright guys, well, I'm gonna sign off here. And I will post pictures on my Facebook, uh, Sebastian James. I will do some vegan cooking if you do, I'll subscribe. Okay, I will, don't worry. Um, well, as I said, I'll be posting up pictures on my Sebastian James account on Facebook. I'll be posting them on my Chibi Vampire account on Instagram. And, yeah, that'll be about it. So... See you guys next time. Bye.